Shari here today and today I'm going to be making a sweet candy castle all decked out for the holidays using the Build a Castle die set and sweet Christmas stamps. So the first thing I'm going to do for my card is create the background. So I have a piece of white Bristol card stock cut to four and a quarter by five and a half which is the same as an A2 size card and I'm just going to do some ink blending to create a pink cotton candy sky. So I'm starting out with spun sugar, which is a very light pink, and I'm just going all over with that oxide ink. And then I'll come in with worn lipstick, which is a little bit darker pink. I'm going to put that towards the top and the sides so that you get this look of a glow in the middle and the darker on the edges. So once I have that dark on there, I'm going to go back to the lighter and blend it out. And I'll just go back and forth between the two colors of ink until I get the look that I want. So now that I've got that ink blending the way I want, I'm going to start to add some texture by doing some splatters of paint on the background. So I've got some metallic watercolor and I'm using the white metallic for this one. So this is going to catch the light and give it a little bit of shimmer. I'm also going to add in some white watercolor speckles. That'll just give you some difference between the specks of paint on the background. You have that shimmer, you have that white, and then finally I'll go in and add a darker shade as well. So I'm going to take that Worn lipstick, Distress Oxide, just put a little bit on my craft mat, add some water, pick that up with my paintbrush, and just add a few dark specks all around. So you get a lot more depth by using different paints to create these splatters on the background. Now for the images that I'm going to use on this card, I'm going to use that little whipped cream from Thanks a Latte, and I'm using a lot of the images from Sweet Christmas. So I'm going to be using the candy canes, the gumdrops, the gingerbread man, and the lollipops. So I'm going to stamp all these in Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink because I'm going to color them with my Copic markers. And you'll see when I get to coloring that I'm going to leave some of them blank. So I've stamped out all the images that I'm going to color. And then for this little whipped cream from Thanks a Latte, that's going to go on the tops of my towers and my castle. But I don't want it to stand out with the black stamping like all the other images because I'm going to use a die cut whipped cream for the top of my castle. So I'm going to be using jellyfish ink to stamp out this little whipped cream. So you can see there that you can kind of see it, but it's not going to be that stark contrast that you get with the black. You get that sort of no line coloring look. And that's going to match up better with the top of the castle. So for the little gingerbread men, I'm going to white emboss them on some paper bag cardstock. So I just have a little scrap of paper bag cardstock here. I've used my anti-static powder tool on it so that that embossing powder doesn't stick anywhere other than where I stamp. I'm going to use some clear embossing ink and stamp down that little gingerbread guy. And I'm going to be stamping two of these. I used two on this card. Then I can add my embossing powder. And then I'll just heat that up with my heat tool till all that powder melts. And you get that nice bright white image on that darker brown. And it just looks like icing on a gingerbread cookie to me. So now I'm going to do some coloring and like I said before I'm not actually going to color all of these images because I wasn't quite sure what color I wanted for all the gumdrops and the lollipops. So I'm going in with traditional red and white for my candy canes. For my little gumdrops here I'm going to use a dark teal and a light teal and I'll just flip flop those and color in the lights between the darks so we have them going opposite each other. And then I will color one of those red and pink, but I wasn't quite sure what I wanted the third line of gumdrops to be. So for these that I'm leaving white, I'll just cut those out with the coordinating dies so I can figure out where I want them on my card and then I can figure out what color. This is not something I typically do, but I have a lot of color going on in this card and I just wasn't sure. 
So for my trees, I'm just going to do some simple shading. So I've put down that G43 everywhere, and then I'm going to go in with the G24, which is slightly darker, and just pull that shadow down from each of the layers of the tree. And then I'll just add a little bit of brown for the tree trunks. And then I'm going to use the coordinating dies to cut out all these pieces, including the ones that I have not yet colored. So those gumdrops and those lollipops, they'll get colored eventually. But for now, I'm just going to cut them out so I have all my pieces and can arrange my card. I'm going to be using the Build a Castle die set. And I'm going to be cutting all my pieces for the castle from the Let It Shine paper collection. So I've got the main body of the castle from that pale aqua with the gold dot. My towers look like candy canes with those stripes and then that front piece is that darker teal. I've also got the door cut out twice out of the pink and then a piece of guava. And then the tops of the castle I cut from some yellow glitter. So now it's time to start some assembly. So for the tops of my little trim pieces, I'm adding this line of gumdrops. And you saw earlier, I cut one in half for the little whipped creams on the towers. But I just thought this added a nice touch to not look quite so much like a castle and look more candy-like. So I'm just going to add one to the top and that bottom piece as well. And then for the top of this tower, the big tower, I'm going to add some whipped cream to the top of that as well. And this whipped cream is from the pumpkin pie cake slice box add-on die. And I've just cut the bottom off. I'm going to add that to the top of this largest tower. So now all my towers match with that yummy whipped cream goodness.
So for the window up top, I've cut the window. This one's actually from the Build a House die set, but you could cut any window frame. And I'm just cutting out the inside so that I end up with just a frame on the outside. And that's because I'm going to put one of these little gingerbread guys popping out of this window. So I want to get rid of those interior panes of the window and just have that framed opening. So now I'm going to start to assemble my card and I'm going to start with my background that I created earlier. Those paint splatters are nice and dry so I can just add some adhesive and put that onto a card base. Then for my snowy sparkly ground I've got a strip of pixie dust sparkle cardstock that I'm just going to put along the bottom and then I'll just trim off that excess that's overhanging off the edge. So now I have a sugary snowy ground for my candy castle to sit on. I'm also using a piece of pink spiffy speckles paper to fill in that window at the top and that will give me somewhere to glue my little gingerbread man to. And the reason why I didn't just use the pink of the background is so I can take my castle and pop it up on some foam tape. So I've got him kind of off to the left side of the window and that's because I'm going to put my other guy off to the right side. So I'm going to glue down this door that's on the right that folds open. I'm just going to glue that in place so it doesn't move and that will give me a place to put my gingerbread guy that's peeping out of this door on the left. So I've got one going to the left, one going to right which adds some dynamic to my little castle here which I just think is so much fun. And then I've added some foam tape all over the back of my castle. I'm just going to place that centered up making sure it's not too close to the top because we have that fun candy cane sticking out of the top of that whipped cream that's up there. And then now I can start to decorate around the bottom of my castle. So I've got those trees I colored earlier. I'm putting some foam on the back of those so that they are nice and level with the castle. And I'm just going to put one tree on each side, overlapping those striped towers that we have on each side of the castle. So if you remember all those gumdrops and lollipops I cut out earlier and I didn't color, now I'm figuring out where I want them and then I'm going to decide on the colors. And I'm going to go with the reds and the pinks and then the two colors of teal just so I keep the same color scheme and don't pull in too many colors. So I'm varying the colors on each side that I have those in different places so it's not too symmetrical. I'm going to take a little foam square for these gumdrops that are in front and then that red gumdrop I'm going to tuck behind. I'm also going to tuck those lollipops behind those trees on each side. I like the idea of the look of a lollipop forest around the bottom of this candy castle. So now I'll have all my treats at the bottom in place and I want to fill that sky in just a little bit. So I've used the puffy cloud frame dies to cut out some white clouds. These are my favorite way to add clouds to a card, especially when you've done a background like I've done on this card because it gives you the clouds and it kind of fills the space, but it doesn't cover up that background that you spent all that time to create. So we have these nice outline clouds and you can still see that cotton candy pink sky through them. So I'm putting each of them hanging off the side of the card and then I'll just trim that off. So I'm just going to use the edge of my card as a guide and trim off the extra of all these clouds so they look like they're going off my little scene. And then I've also got a few small hearts cut from some guava cardstock that I'm just going to add around. And then finally I am taking my stardust stickles and I am just going to cover this in a whole bunch of glitter. I just think it adds that nice touch and it gives that sugary look. So I'm going on top of all the whipped cream, just kind of enhancing those lines of that whipped cream. I did all my gumdrops that are on the castle. 
gumdrops. Now I'm also going to go do the gumdrops that are down on the ground so you get that sugary look. And then I'll also add some detail to the lollipop. So instead of doing the whole lollipop, I'm just going to trace that swirl and then trace some of those lines of those peppermint looking ones. I'm also going to add a little bit to those hearts that I added as well. So we get all that glittery, sugary goodness. And I just love it. I just think it's so cute. And then to finish off the bottom, I felt like it needed a little bit more down here because that white sparkle just kind of was empty. So I decided to add some peppermint twine to the bottom. I thought about adding my sentiment here, but I felt like a sentiment banner would just cover that up too much. And here is a tip, maybe tie the bow and the twine before you add stickles all over everything. I was having to be very careful to not get stickles on my fingers. But I wrapped that twine around three times and then tied a bow to one side. And then once I have that nice and tight, I'm gonna trim off those tails. Then I'm also gonna stick a glue dot under it to secure it in place so it doesn't move. And then I'm gonna add the sentiment on the inside of this card. I just felt like the sentiment on the front might take away from this sweet little scene. So have a sweet holiday just right inside. And then here is the finished card and I just think it is so adorable. I love how this turned out. It is so cute. It reminds me of the game Candyland and I just hope it inspires you to look at your Build a Castle die in a new way. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.